welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be continuing with our hobgoblin fighters and these if you don't remember are from the um, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Temple of Elemental Evil um, adventure system game okay so what do we have already well there we are we have our um, fighters all um, ready to go they've had the base coats they've had a little bit of highlighting done as you can see the washes have um, actually made the highlights less harsh so but we still need to top some of them up so we're going to do that now um, so we'll get our small brush um, and we'll just touch up a little bit of the highlights that were there um, just adding a little bit of colour a little bit more colour into it and just get some water off the brush and we'll just touch up here and there uh, in some areas very very watery colour we're using for this because we don't want it to completely dominate the face it's just a little subtle colour that we're adding to just as I say to change the colour of that highlight that we previously put on There we go. And if you remember in the previous video when we did the highlighting or did any of the painting I'd forgot to add the um, palette cam. As you've seen already it's already, well it's, it is actually in full working order on this one. I'm not sure though <laughs> that it won't be used all that much to be honest. But We'll get out of it what we can. Mm -hmm. yeah, so just and there we have it. That's that done. Next, we're going to do the hair, and for that. I'm going to use Scrag Brown if I can find it. Yep, it's there. <coughs> and we're going to put a little bit of that on our brush because so we're just going to give a little bit of a dry brush of this. We're not going to be going overboard. And it's just a case of just adding a little bit of colour to the raised areas. not going incredibly incredibly bright or incredibly detailed with it um, that's it that's all we're doing <coughs> and next naturally this is the final stage 
of these. As I said, we, <laughs> we haven't used webcam, uh, palette cam for the majority of this video. No, the majority of the painting of these minis. Um, but unfortunately that's one of those things. It was an accident on my part. I just forgot to press the um, play button. But now we're going to add the rust effects to the armour. And we're using Riser Rust, which is a dry brush. So using our um, what we call it, a dry brush brush. Get some on the brush, scrape it off on the palette, or scrape it off on a piece of paper, and just dry brush it all where you've added the um, is it Nurgle's Rock? Typhus Corrosion what was it? As I said, I don't think we won't actually use any form of um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not going to be incredibly careful with their armour, I don't think. Got their weapons, so we're going to have a little bit of rust on them. <coughs> and we'll just go over the typhus corrosion. Now the typhus corrosion has little particles in it. And as you dry brush the riser rust on it, it will hit the particles and stick. As you can probably see. <coughs> so if I do the... You can see there where the particles are, hopefully. They're just little tiny, tiny particles. the rust on different places. Sometimes I use the same place on all on each of them, but the majority of it. Oh, but I am trying to look for different places to actually add the rust effect. There we are. And finally, this guy seems to have a lot of rust on his. Just want to go a little bit more on a brush. Um, Reads more than I actually thought of, to be honest. Oh well. Oh yeah. And there will be times where the rust. The riser rust actually sticks quite heavily in parts. Don't worry about it. Just put it on. If it comes off somewhere, then comes off on somewhere you didn't mean it to come off on. It just adds to the effect. I mean, I've got it on his hair, no doubt the corrosion would come off. There we are. So that is the three Hobgoblin fighters basically completed. <coughs> there we go. So we have different levels of rust effect on the three fighters. Um, and now because I can, because there's not all that much um, that's the word I'm looking for. 
there's not all that much uh, paint put on it in this video we're going to take these off the bases okay we're going to put them to one side for the time being and we're going to bring back our water cultists and we're waiting here I'm also going to bring out my little um, takeaway lid that I use for palette for glue when I can find it. Hmm. I don't know where it's gone. Oh well. Um, I'm going to put the lid back on my wet palette. I'm going to zoom out a little bit on webcam, uh, palette cam and put the sand box there. And because I can't find that uh, takeaway lid, all I can do is use something completely different, which will be hmm, the CD that I used earlier. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little bright, but all I'm using it for is PVA glue. Okay, so we can get our brush, get our mini. And spread, oh, sorry, apply the PVA glue around the mini. Um, like that will do this on each one. I'll do it on this one first just to show you and then I will finish the video and carry on and get them all done. There's not, not really much else I can show you on these. Um, I know I've done it on past ones but if this is the first one you've seen I just want to show you how I finish off the minis. It's very very easy. Um, now what I want to do is make some areas where there's a a little more of the finer sand and where that is I will dunk in the miniature um, and now I can look and add more glue to where it needs to go um, There we are, and this time we'll put it into the heavy, or the bigger, clumps of sand. And there we are. That's how I base my D&D minis for these games. Um, well, that's how I base my D&D minis because these are the ones that I use just for this particular game. Um, and these are what this is our base. The first three. Um, you know the uh, Temple of the Lamb, not Temple of the Lamb, the Cursor Strad, um, Wrath of a Shadow one, and um, uh, Legend of Brist. So, we've well, done those in this particular fashion. I'll do this set as well. So that's it, that's how I do them. Um, Oops. Hope, you, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that's it for this one. When we come back, we're going to be starting on some bigger minis. But until then, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. 
and I'll leave you as I usually do with a look at the finished minis one by one.